check this out. NBC News. 40 years later, Apollo 17's blue marble leaves a mark on our memory. Boy, does it. I'll tell ya. We scroll down. Now, this is quite an old article from December the 7th, 2012. And we get to see this historical image in all its glory here. Now, we'll have a closer look at this in a minute. This image from December the 7th, 1972, shows a view of Earth as seen by the Apollo 17 crew, Gene Sermon, Ronald Evans and Harrison Schmidt as they travelled towards the moon. The view extends from the Mediterranean Sea area to Antarctica. Okay, so we've got Antarctica coming up to the Mediterranean Sea area. Bear with me. So here's the historical image from 1972. Here it is again next to Google Earth. Now this is the area I want you to focus on. The Gulf of Aden, but particularly the Red Sea, okay? We've just seen the Red Sea on Google Earth. And when we zoom in on the Red Sea, on the historical image from 1972, we see an awful problem here. It would seem the Red Sea in the historical image from 1972 has a huge landmass right through the middle of it. And bizarrely enough, a mysterious body of water has appeared to the left of the landmass that's blocking the Red Sea. Google Earth, Red Sea, no landmass running through the middle of it and no large body of water to the left of it. The historical image from 1972. A huge landmass blocks the Red Sea. Whilst a mysterious large body of water appears to the left of the Red Sea. It's almost as if they put the water and the landmass yeah, in the wrong areas. Kind of got mixed up. Did they do it on purpose? Quite possibly. But that is a very, very, very bad day for NASA and space fantasists and globe believers. This historical image, so-called globe proof, blue marble, has mugged all of you space fans and all you globe believers off. Explain this huge landmass that's appeared in the middle of the Red Sea and explain uh, the large body of water that's mysteriously appeared to the left. Dear, oh dear.